வணக்கம் வந்தனம் நமஸ்தே நமஸ்கார் குட் ஈவினிங் சத்ரியகால் அண்ட் வெல்கம் டு தோஸ்ட் அண்ட் லைட்னிங் ஷோ ஃபால் டைம் ஓன்லி அண்ட் வெடி உடான ஃபிளைட் ஆஃப் லைஃப் வித் பாலநாகேந்திரன் திஸ் இஸ் யோர் போஸ்ட் மார்டம் அண்ட் லைஃப் வித் பிகின்ஸ் ஹியர் You're on. You are listening to Radio Dawn of Flight of Life, the vehicle that transforms you from stress to bliss. And this is Balanagendra Life from Chennai has come with an impartial analysis for today. This is post-mortem where we dissect the important issues and blow the bigger parts into pieces to find the hidden secrets behind the curtains. and through it we are doing our best to provide clarity of thoughts neutrality of stands and particularly enlightenment to each and every one of us that's why this is post mortem where enlightenment begins Tune into Radio Ron, stay listening to Radio Ron, enjoy Radio Ron 24-7 of Light of Life. Log into www.radioron.com, www.radioon.com to be a part of Radio Ron's betterment by contributing by means of feedback. Go to www.radioon.com and find the link to submit feedback. If you are listening to Postmortem right now, after 10 p.m. tonight, you can go to that site. and you can submit your feedback pertaining to postmortem how do you feel about the show what do you need what do you feel that the show needs to be the best of all time what do you need what do you mean about the quality of content quality of presentation quality of information shared quality of analysis made so go to radioran.com find the link submit feedback select the show postmortem with balanagendran and rate the show as per what you feel excellent very good good okay poor will be the choices in front of you the choices that you will make will help us to open the door of success and for the better progress of a flight of life If you want to be as close as possible to the flight of life that is through by radio jockey very simple if you feel that you can make your voice be heard across the globe and you can mesmerize your listeners you can be the orifice of radio run pretty simple go to www.radioran.com and find the link fill up interested to become rj and fill up the necessary items asked if everything works we will approach you and you will be the radio jockey of radio run and thus you will be listened across the globe by more than 120 countries and you can kiss the eardrums of more than 30000 listeners per month apart from that we are on YouTube as well yes subscribe to our YouTube channel make radio run to be at the top of YouTube's community radio channels you can also follow us on Facebook facebook.com/radio run will take you to our official page and group where you can share your insights of ideas and indictments and the thoughts and suggestions for the better progress of the flight of life you can also follow us on Twitter to know our day to day operation at radio run at r a d i o u d a n if you want to interact with the favorite rj at the time of your favorite show for instance if you want to interact with me now i am on skype skype id is radio run r a d i o u d a n i am on skype i would be glad to read your name and the content on air if you send the valid information pertaining to what we are going to dissect tonight what's the subject matter of our today's postmortem you can also download Radio Dawn Android app or on smart app you if you have smartphone and if you want Radio Dawn to be the smartest you can have it in a smart way that is through the Android app go to Google Play Store and download Radio Dawn app and enjoy Radio Dawn for us of entertaining shows for us of its webcast and 16 hours of mellow musical extravaganza coupled with special segments and kavi sammelans You will be thrilled to know what we are going to speak today as we start the clock strikes 8:05 and here we have to begin the proceedings of post mortem enlightenment begins here. But today we're going to talk about the nation's issue, one of the important issues. Again, 
it starts from Tamil Nadu. It's not about the elections. It's not about the environmental issues pertaining to the devotional events that have occurred in the state. But it's about scientific exploration. Science and its logic behind the betterment of mankind. What we are going to talk about is another protest that is going on for a week in Tamil Nadu. We have seen in the same postmortem on the protest of the Jallikattu and this time we are going to see another important aspect before that just control yourself we are going to talk about serious catastrophic activities if the government policy has a margin of error Whenever you, need, whenever you read newspaper, you might have come across a place in Nidwasal or Tandu or Tanjavur. The place which is the highlight of today. Not only today, but for the past one week because people have been organizing a mass protest against the central government policy of exploration. What is that exploration? what that exploration has to do with the common exploration is the key towards development as every expert say we agree that and we are going to provide you the impartial analysis of what the explor exploration is all about how far the explorations can be made without affecting mankind how far the explorations can be successful without alienating the beneficiaries, that is, you and me, the people of this country. How far the explorations can be of productive in nature without killing the agriculture, which is the backbone of India even today. Why is there such a policy? First question. If the policy is right, why the government is silent from convincing the protesters? Second question. If the policy has a lacuna, why can't the government withdraw the policy in the betterment of the people's livelihood? Third question. If the policy sounds to be derogatory, detrimental and bitter, for sustainable development as many scientists and the experts believe. Why do we need such a policy? If any policy, any development measure or if any development occurs to one at the expense of another, is that a development in real terms? Is the fifth question that we are going to find the answer today. We are going to provide a constructive, concrete conclusion not only to the people who are protesting there but to the government as well. And it is time for us to proact than to react. There is a mass protest on an important government policy. The hydrocarbon exploration policy. I'm not going to talk about, we are not going to look into hydrocarbon exploration and licensing policy in which government has introduced protective measures, uniform licensing and easy clearance which, is, which has increased India's stand on ease of doing business and so forth. What we are going to see today is the process that will be followed for hydrocarbon explorations in Tanjavur. Not only in Tanjavur, whenever that is in India. And thus, it is necessary for us to look this issue deep into the core because if it can happen today in Tamil Nadu, it can happen at any time in Punjab, at any time in Maharashtra, any time in Uttar Pradesh, any time in Gujarat, any time in Karnataka, and any time in Assam, Bihar, West Bengal. Why do we need to destroy the agricultural fields? to get hydrocarbon. Before that, 
it is time for us to know what is meant by hydrocarbon what are its key components especially the recent controversy is due to methane extraction methane exploration how the process is carried away carried out what is the stance of the other countries on india's policy as well as the process in which india is going to put an investment what about the waste management in in which india is one of the poorest of the poors in the world we'll tell you everything in the next playing only on radio rana flight of life this is your most enlightening show post modern with balanag and today we are dissecting the controversial methane extraction issue of tamil nadu stay tuned मेरा टावल कहां पर पड़ा हुआ है महात्मा गांधी जिन्हें हम राष्ट्रपिता के नाम से भी जानते हैं यार तो भारतीय राजनीति पढ़ता रहता है कभी कंप्यूटर पे भी पढ़ लिया कर तभी तो तुम लोगों के नंबर नहीं आते मैं तो भैया दोनों से पढ़ता हूँ लेकिन ज्यादा मजा मुझे ब्रेल पढ़ने से ही आता है हमको नहीं मजा मुझा आता ब्रेल से अभी एग्जाम देने जाना है तो मैं फटाफट से एक बार एक लुक ले लेता हूं ये कंप्यूटर क्यों नहीं चल रहा मेरा और ये कंप्यूटर क्यों नहीं चल रहा अबे कंप्यूटर कहां से चलेगा लाइट चली गई है उफ अब मैं कैसे पढ़ू काश आपने समय पर रेल सीखी होती तो आज इतनी परेशानियों का सामना न करना पड़ता ब्रेल दृष्टिबाधितों के लिए उतनी ही महत्वपूर्ण और आवश्यक है जितनी कि टेक्नोलॉजी ब्रेल इज अ की टूवर्ड्स इंडिपेंडेंट लाइफ फॉर द ब्लाइंड रेडियो उड़ान द्वारा जनहित में जारी गीत गाता चल गुनाता चल मधुर संगीत मधुबन खुशबू देता है कलाकारों के जीवन की रोमांचक बातें के पहले के दुनिया मुझ पर हंसे मैं इसका गला घोट दूंगा मेरा गला घोटने से अगर आप दुनिया की हंसी रोक सकते हैं तो घोट दीजिए मेरा गला चुप नहीं शर्म तूने तो खानदान की नाक कटा दी और पर्दे के पीछे की कई सुनी और अनसुनी कहानियां गीत गाता चल सुनना न भूलिए प्रोग्राम गीत गाता चल मेरे यानी आरजे भूषण के साथ बुधवार रात 10 से 11 और पुनः प्रसारण गुरुवार शाम 5 से 6 आपके चहिते और फेवरेट ऑनलाइन रेडियो स्टेशन रेडियो उड़ान पर रेडियो उड़ान पर रेडियो उड़ान विकलांगों की आवश्यकताओं के अनुरूप समाज में बाधा रहित निर्माण ही है विकलांग जनों के लिए सहज जीवन का एहसास सहज सुगम विकलांग का जीवन समय की है आवाज यही में भर अभियान सफल हो सरकार का है प्रयास यही सार्वजनिक भवनों सरकारी कार्यालयों स्कूल अस्पताल पुलिस स्टेशन आदि के साथ साथ विभिन्न परिवहन व्यवस्थाओं जैसे रेलवे स्टेशन बस स्टॉप एयरपोर्ट आदि को विकलांग जनों की आवश्यकताओं के अनुरूप सुगम बनाया जा रहा है ताकि दृष्टि बाधित श्रवण बाधित तथा अन्य विकलांग जन बाधा रहित जीवन के सुखद एहसास से गुजर सके अधिक जानकारी www.disabilityaffairs.gov.in से हासिल करें सुगम में भारत सशक्त भारत विकलांग जन सशक्तिकरण विभाग भारत सरकार न फिक्र करो बीते लम्हों की कि कल का सूरज निकलना बाकी है मिल जाएंगी मंजिलें आपको हमेशा 
कि आपके हौसलों की उड़ान बाकी है सुनते रहिए रेडियो उड़ान ए फ्लाइट ऑफ लाइफ As we said in the last link today we are going to see about the hydrocarbon exploration issue one of the controversial issues in the history of Tamil Nadu where the protests have erupted day by day it is enhancing in terms of public mobilization on one hand the fishermen are protesting on the other hand the issue of hydrocarbon ultimately the government is trying to heed to the opinion of the people the union government has said that no policy or no exploration would be permitted without the consent of the people it is time for us to know what is this hydrocarbon the name itself suggests hydrocarbon hydrogen plus carbon the combination of hydrogen and carbon molecules contributes to hydrocarbon there are some added values hydrocarbon if hydrogen is 2% and carbon is 6% then it will give ch4 that is methane if hydrogen is 2% 3% carbon is 8% it will give propane there is another element ch3 that is ethane all these are absolutely destructive to human propane inflammatory methane we already know one of the gravest greenhouse gases which we are feeling right now and that has the capability to trap 25% of the solar radiation reflection in the layer of atmosphere and thus increases the temperature of the earth and what the government has decided what's the policy is all about in tanju which is the rice bowl of tamil nadu has a phenomenal fertility despite the water crisis thanks to the conflict between the states of tamil nadu and karnataka in kaveri water tanjavur used to be one of the greatest saviors of the people of the state by providing agricultural food and grains tons and tons of productions of the state have come from tamil nadu tanjavur apart from that tanjavur is known for its historic presence of temples architecture the tanjavur pragadeeswara temple is internationally renowned temple which is one of the part one of the world heritage sites of the unesco which is more than 1005 years old there is another temple in gangai konda solapuram that is also another historic 1000 year old temple there are various irrigation projects which are more than 1000 years old that are present in that district all these accolades have brought laurels to not only to tanjavur but to the entire state however the present scenario has brought the gravest antagonism animosity among the masses due to the hydrocarbon exploration that too the building of methane wells or methane tanks through which the methane would be extracted will be on the agricultural land while the courts and even the land acquisition policy is keen that no before converting any agricultural land into a concrete building there has to be in fact assessment social impact assessment and consent has to be received from the people how is it possible for a government to convince the people that we are going to dig your fields 
in order to get methane that will develop in the earth. The reasonable question raised by the protesters is if there is no food, what is the importance of methane? Let's get back to this same hydrocarbon. That hydrocarbon is uh, hydrocarbon's presence is found in those regions and thus the government want to have a project. The hydrocarbon exploration would be of paramount significance because while we are exceedingly consuming the renewable energies, coal, fossil fuel and petrol, crude oil, they might come to an end at a certain time. As of now, as per the 2015-2016 calculation, India's energy import was 46%, out of which 56% were this coal and fossil fuels. To reduce that, we need to tap in the presence of hydrocarbons which would be beneficial for electricity that could provide greater self-reliance to the nation like India that aspires to be one of the superpowers in terms of development and growth. How the electricity would be extracted from methane? How far this hydrocarbon exploration is going to provide beneficial going to be beneficial for electricity and development? Won't there be an environmental impact if the agricultural land stands degrade, degraded? After the exploration of methane and if the process comes to an end, because methane is also not in abundance, there is a limit. After the exploration, how far the lands that have been used for that purpose will be reinstated into agriculture? This sounds perhaps the best silly question because that lands would become barren. That's the animosity among the people. For the farmer, the land is more than himself. For the nation, agriculture is more should be more than anything else. Alas, the scenario seems to be of different in nature. While we return, we would tell you how far the hydrocarbons would help in generating electricity. How far this is going to replace or reduce the consumption of commercial energy imports of India. If the energy imports are reduced, surely India would be attaining self-reliance. What we have to do for that? We'll tell you everything in the next link only on Radio Rana Flight of Life. This is your post-mortem man. I am Bala Nagendran providing you an impartial ana analysis of hydrocarbon exploration in Tanjavur. बदलता दो जहां हम पहुंचाएंगे आपकी आवाज सरकार का बदलता दो जो देता है आपको जानकारी अपनी कम्युनिटी में होने वाले तमाम इंसिडेंट्स सुनते रहिए बदलता दो डिस्कशन रेडियो उड़ान पर हर रविवार रात को 9 से 10 और सोमवार 4 से 5 सिर्फ और सिर्फ रेडियो उड़ान पर हावी हो गई तैयारी स्पीच की हां हो ही गई सारे लोग तो पढ़ के देंगे तू भी ब्रेल में लिख लेती यार कितने साल हो गए ब्रेल को हाथ लगाए जब से कंप्यूटर आया ना ब्रेल को तो छुआ तक नहीं मुझे याद है कर लूंगी नाउ आई वुड लाइक टू कॉल अपॉन कंटेस्टेंट नंबर 4 तो तेरा नंबर आ गया ऑल द बेस्ट 
Good morning, everyone. The topic of my speech is environment. Environment is the surrounding in which we live. It is the source of life. Good or bad quality of social life depends upon the quality of our natural environment. The the need of the need of um uh. काश आपने समय पर रेल सीख ली होती तो आज इतनी परेशानियों का सामना न करना पड़ता ब्रेल दृष्टिबाधितों के लिए उतनी ही महत्वपूर्ण और आवश्यक है जितनी कि टेक्नोलॉजी ब्रेल इज अ की टूवर्ड्स इंडिपेंडेंट लाइफ फॉर द ब्लाइंड रेडियो उड़ान द्वारा जनहित में जारी नमस्कार सिल्वर लाइनिंग से प्रीति मोंगा बोल रही हूँ हम लोग डिसेबल्ड लोगों को जॉब्स दिलाने का काम करते हैं जो लोग जॉब में इंटरेस्टेड हैं वो हमें अपना सीवी या बायोडेटा इन इस ईमेल आईडी में भेज दें प्रीति डॉट मोंगा एट जी मेल डॉट कॉम जल्द से जल्द आप अपना डिटेल्स हमें भेजें और हमारा फोन नंबर है जीरो नाइन एट सेवन वन सेवन जीरो वन सिक्स फोर सिक्स धन्यवाद रेडी उड़ान और मित्र ज्योति ने एक ब्रेल मैगजीन लॉन्च की है जिसका नाम है इन इस ब्रेल मैगजीन में आपको पढ़ने के लिए मिलेंगे एजुकेशन हेल्थ टेक्नोलॉजी बिजनेस लाइफस्टाइल, स्पोर्ट्स और तमाम सब्जेक्ट से रिलेटेड बेहतरीन आर्टिकल ये एक क्वार्टरली मैगजीन है जो आपको साल में हर तीन महीने के बाद उपलब्ध करवाई जाएगी इस मैगजीन का सालाना शुल्क है सौ रूपए और इसे प्राप्त करने के लिए आज ही अपना एड्रेस मेल करें एडमिन डॉट ऑफिस एट मित्र ज्योति डॉट ओ आर जी आरोप ए डी एम आई एन डॉट ओ डबल एफ आई सी ई एट एम आई टी आर ए जे वाई ओ टी एच आई डॉट ओ आर जी कॉल कर सकते हैं एट जीरो डबल टू फाइव एट सेवन सिक्स टू थ्री पर हैप्पी रीडिंग यू आर लिस्निंग टू रेडियो उड़ान रेडियो उड़ान रेडियो उड़ान फ्लाइट ऑफ लाइफ फॉर मोर इन्फॉर्मेशन लॉग ऑन टू डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट रेडियो उड़ान डॉट कॉम हैप्पी लिस्निंग As we have been talking about the hydrocarbon exploration and we have to talk about its significance. Yes, hydrocarbon is of paramount significance for the better progress of development. It will increase the opportunities for energy availability. Its exploration and procurement would be reduced so that energy import of India would be reduced and thus India can have self reliance which would increase india's chances of attaining her goals strategically economically politically and socially it would increase employment it would increase energy efficiency thus it would increase the possibility of the entire nation being electric electricity electrified the entire na- nation being light and apart from that every institute including the education institute can get electricity which is rarest in rural remote areas especially in the tribal populated areas fine how far this exploration would benefit how far this exploration would provide electricity remember as i've said at the beginning methane has the capacity to trap the heat of 25% of the total solar radiation 
that is massive the presence of methane in the atmosphere would trap 25% of reflected solar radiation remember whenever there is a rays from the sun whenever there is a light from the sun not 100% light is reaching to the earth 51% is the is the one that reaches the earth 16% is consumed by the surface itself and up approximately 19% is the only thing of solar radiation which is reflected back to the sun when it increases it would increase the possibility of safety but when such reflection decreases in other words when the radio waves are trapped in the layer of atmosphere itself then the earth will be suffering from fever due to high temperature that is called the global warming and thus there are 5 to 7 gases termed as greenhouse gases the gases that have the capability to trap the reflected solar radiation methane has the highest capability thus when we extract methane the methane would release insurmountable heat with the help of that heat we can provide we can cre create electricity we can provide electricity to the country that's how the hydrocarbon has to be used how the hydrocarbon will be extracted from the earth that would be in our next link but before that if we need electricity why do we have to wait we need development let's uh, let's there let there be land acquisition and let's start the process is what the thinking of common man but wait just a second you have lot of methane in the atmosphere itself we have lot of methane in the waste that we produce india one of the poorest waste management countries have to find a way for better waste management to extract methane that would help india to attain a surmountable amount of methane for the purposes that it wants however we need not have to dig up we we not we not have to duck the ground say some experts we are going to see both the arguments why do we need to dig the ground ground and at the same time why do we need not have to look multiple things why do we need to look only on waste management to extract meat and when we have meat in abundantly in our ground let's start it's time for us to extract and utilize it why do we need to look for waste management which is a tedious and a long run process which needs infrastructure however a livelihood matters the consequences and the repercussions after the means to meet an exploration from the ground has been visible it is visible in many areas around the world that's why the united states russia everybody have put an end to methane extraction from agricultural land why they have put an end we'll tell you in the next link with how the hydrocarbon is extracted for to listen that just control yourself what we are going to see is the reality dark reality you are listening to postmortem the most enlightening show of all time on radio rana flight of life this is balana gendra
अरे नहीं नहीं ये सब बेकार चीजें हैं फाल तुम्हें घर पे पड़ी रहेंगी कोई जरूरत नहीं चलो अरे दिया सिर्फ टच ही करोगी या घर भी लेके जाओगी ओह हो जो तस्वीर तुमने हाथ में पकड़ी है मैं वो ही बोल रहा हूँ हाँ बेटा मेरी भी कुछ अलग ही कहानी है और हाँ भाई साहब मैं कितने काम की चीज हूँ बहुत जल्द आपको पता चल जाएगा अब हर सोमवार आप सुन सकेंगे बोलती तस्वीरें फ्रॉम सेवन टू एट पी एम ऑन योर रेडियो रात ऑफ लाइफ इंडिया यानी नेशनल एसोसिएशन फॉर द ब्लाइंड इंडिया इंडिया की सबसे पुरानी संस्था है जहां दृष्टिहीनों के लिए शिक्षा रोजगार और पुनर्वसन की सेवा दी जाती है नैब इंडिया पर संपर्क करने के लिए हमें ईमेल करें एच एस जी एट द रेट नैब इंडिया डॉट इन्फो आरोप आप हमें कॉल भी कर सकते हैं हमारा नंबर है जीरो टू टू सिक्स सिक्स एट थ्री एट सिक्स थ्री सेवन ये जमीन देख रहे हो हम इस पर अपना होटल बनाएंगे पर साहिब ये, ये हारे भरे पेड़ अरे इन्हें काट के हटा दो ये किसी भी काम के नहीं है हमारे नहीं नहीं साहब ऐसा जुलूम मत करो साहब साहब इन पे, पेड़ों को मत काटो साहब अरे क्यों नहीं काटे बेकार में ही खड़े हैं इनको काटेंगे तभी तो हमारा होटल बनेगा और हम लाखों का फायदा कमा सकते है सुनो साहब हम आपको कुछ बताना चाहेंगे साहब पर पेड़ों को न काटो साहब अरे तुम क्या हमें बताओगे क्या हमें तुमसे सीखना पड़ेगा कि हमें क्या करना चाहिए और क्या नहीं करना चाहिए नहीं नहीं साहब ऐसा नहीं साहब ये पेड़ हमारे बहुत, बहुत क, काम के होते हैं साहब 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 इन्हें न काटो साहब ठीक है पर ऐसा क्या है इन पेड़ों में जो तुम हमें पेड़ काटने ऐसी रोक रहे जरा हमें भी तो बताओ हम भी तो जाने जी जी साहब जरा सोचो साहब अगर ये वृक्ष ही नहीं होते तो हमें ताजी सांसें और समय पर पानी कैसे मिल पाता पानी वो कैसे साहब इन वृक्षों की बदौलत ही तो ये मौसम होता है और तभी हमारा जीवन संभव हो पाता है सोचो साहब अगर ये वृक्ष ही नहीं होंगे तो इनकी लकड़ियों के बगैर हम कुर्सी में चलमारी के लिए लकड़ियाँ कहाँ से लाएंगे उफ, कितना पॉल्यूशन हो रहा है देखो साहब अगर ये वृक्ष ही नहीं होंगे तो हमें कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड को ऑक्सीजन में कौन बदल के देगा जिससे कि हम सबको एक नया जीवन मिलता है ओह तो ये बात है कितनी धूप है साहब गर्मी की धूप में भी इन बेजुबान पशु पक्षियों को और आने जाने वाले राहगीरों को धूप से बचाने के लिए जगह कहाँ से मिलेगी बात तो तुम ठीक ही कहते हो रामू हम वृक्षों को नहीं काटेंगे वृक्ष हमारे बहुत ही काम की चीज होती हैं। अच्छा क्या रामू जो तुमने समय रहते मेरी आंखें खोल दी अब मैं एक पेड़ काटूंगा तो पांच पेड़ लगाऊंगा इस जमीन पर, जिससे कि हमारी प्रकृति और हमारा जीवन सुखमय बना रहे हाँ, हम तो ऐसे ही बस धन्यवाद रामू जो तुमने समय रहते हमारी आंखें खोल दी नहीं नहीं साहब धन्यवाद की कौन जरूरत नहीं साहब हम तो ऐसे ही आपसे बताना चाह रहे थे साहब जब रहेगी सुरक्षित हमारी धरा तभी तो होगा हमारा जीवन हरा भरा प्रकृति हमारा अनमोल खजाना है आज से और अभी से हमने ये प्राण ठाना है जो काटेंगे एक तो लगाएंगे पेड़ पाँच तभी हम सबके जीवन पर न आएगी आज ये संदेश रेड हुड ऑन दाराज जनहित में जारी टू मोर इन्फो की ब्लेसिंग एंड कीप इन ज्वाइन विद रेड ऑन अ फ्लाइट ऑफ लाइफ Welcome back friends as we have been talking about hydrocarbon exploration that is the cause in Tanjore 
it is specifically for the extraction of methane what we need is know how the process is carried out the hydrocarbon exploration process is a tedious one in fact it is highly destructive as we speak first the place at which the presence of hydrocarbon is found after the process is over the hydrocarbon is found between the crusts and the mantle in the layers of the earth it is an intact gas and it is lethal to naked face or naked nose of mankind. First, the ground is made to be clean and all the processes to weed out the plants, trees and everything is done. Then a well shaped hole is dug. The digging process would surpass 6000 feet. Remember the digging process is not merely 100-200 feet but 6000 feet that would cross even the crust and the mantle and the outer layer of the earth it would penetrate deep down when such an exploration took place what will happen usually when you cross 6000 even when you cross the thousand feet or in the places like Tanjavur when you cross 100 to 200 feet the groundwater will start oozing out when the water starts oozing out if it goes to 6,000 feet, 6,000 meters, 6,000 meters, which means more than 18,000 feet, 6,000 meters, then all the groundwater will be thrown out for no use. All those groundwaters will be useless then to replace the groundwater, the seawater will creep in and the seawater would also be taken away then finally when it reaches the mantle or the core of the earth there will be sideways penetration of holes remember one hole straight and five six oh holes at the side which means there will be a star kind of pipe connection and that pipes will join at one place from the outer side the high pressured elements of more than 635 gas and chemical respondents would be sent inside to break the rocks of the interior of the earth when the rocks are broken it will release the held methane and that methane will mix in the pipes where the chemical water which contains as I have already said 635 elements would be taken away then the water will be used to separate methane this process may look adventurous but as we see the process is tedious once you look the process of methane extraction I guarantee you that you will surely lose faith in your life हर वीकेंड आप सबका कोई ना कोई नया प्लान तो होता ही होगा ना कभी फिल्म तो कभी यू ही सिटी के सेंट्रल पार्क के बाहर सेल्फीज खींचना या फिर कुछ भी मन ना करे तो घर बैठे बैठे अपनी पसंद का खाना ऑर्डर कर लो 
आपको पता है हम जैसे कई लोगों के लिए तो आपका ये वाला प्लान भी पॉसिबल नहीं होता लेकिन आप डेफिनेटली होगा मेरा नाम मधु है मैं देख नहीं सकती आई एम विजुअली इम्पेयर बट यू नो वॉट नाउ गुड फूड टॉक्स अगर आप नहीं समझे तो हम बताते हैं गुड फूड टॉक्स है इंडिया का पहला एक्सेसिबल रेस्टोरेंट फाइंडर एंड मेन्यू रीडिंग ऐप खास दृष्टिहीन कम दृष्टि बुजुर्ग डिस्लेक्सिक और ऑटिस्टिक दोस्तों के लिए अब आप अपने मोबाइल टैबलेट और कंप्यूटर पे कभी भी कहीं भी अपने आसपास के रेस्टोरेंट का नाम एड्रेस फोन नंबर और मेन्यू आसानी ऐसी पढ़ सकते हैं बस गुड फूड टॉक्स एप एंड्रॉइड प्ले स्टोर ऐसी डाउनलोड करें असक्षम एंड रेडियो मिर्ची इनिशियटिव लोकेशन पार्टनर बाबिक नेशन रेडियो उड़ान सुन रहे सभी मित्रों को मेरा प्यार भरा नमस्कार मेरा नाम मधु सिंगल है मैं बेंगलोर में कार्यरत संस्था मित्र ज्योति जो पिछले 25 वर्षों से दृष्टिहीनों एवं दूसरे विकलांग व्यक्तियों के लिए कार्यरत है उसकी मैनेजिंग ट्रस्टी हूँ इस संस्था की गतिविधियाँ इस प्रकार हैं यहाँ पर दृष्टिहीनों के लिए ऑडियो में पुस्तकें रिकॉर्ड की जाती हैं इसके साथ साथ ब्रेल में और स्कैंड पुस्तकें भी उनको दी जा रही हैं कंप्यूटर प्रशिक्षण और रोजगार की सुविधाएं भी यहाँ प्रदान की जा रही हैं दृष्टिहीन महिलाओं के लिए एक विशेष प्रकार का कोर्स चलाया जाता है जिसमें उन्हें आत्मनिर्भर बनकर जीवन में आगे बढ़ने की क्षमता प्रदान की जा रही है आप मित्र ज्योति ऐसी संपर्क कर सकते हैं यहाँ का फोन नंबर है जीरो एट जीरो डबल टू फाइव एट सेवन सिक्स टू थ्री और डबल टू फाइव एट सेवन सिक्स टू फाइव ई मेल एड्रेस है एडमिन डॉट ऑफिस एट द रेट ऑफ मित्र ज्योति डॉट ओ आर जी वेबसाइट है डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट मित्र ज्योति डॉट ओ आर जी वॉइस फॉर ब्लाइंड क्लब में आप सभी का स्वागत है क्लब का उद्देश्य शिक्षा के माध्यम से आपको आत्मनिर्भर बनाना रिकॉर्डिंग एंड स्क्राइब की प्रॉब्लम को सॉल्व करना भारत के कई शहरों में वॉइस फॉर ब्लाइंड क्लब के सदस्य अपनी सेवाएं देना चाहते हैं क्लब से कांटेक्ट करने के लिए मेल आईडी है वी ओ आई सी ई एफ ओ आर बी एल आई एन डी वॉइस फॉर ब्लाइंड एट द रेट ऑफ जी मेल डॉट कॉम मोबाइल नंबर नाइन फोर वन जीरो फोर एट जीरो एट फाइव एट मैं अनीता शर्मा एंड मेरे क्लब मेंबर रिकॉर्डिंग एंड स्क्राइब की आवश्यकता को पूरा करने का हर संभव प्रयास करेंगे अधिक जानकारी के लिए आप हमें मेल कर सकते हैं थैंक यू सो मच बैरियर ब्रेक पेश करता है नया ऐप न्यूज हुक न्यूज हुक एक ऐसा ऐप है जिसे विशेष तौर पर विकलांगजनों और सीनियर सिटीजन के लिए एक्सेसिबल बनाया गया है ये ऐप टॉकबैक के साथ पूरी तरह कंपेटेबल है और इसमें खबरों के लिए साधारण इंग्लिश का इस्तेमाल किया जाता है तो आज ही अपने एंड्रॉइड प्ले स्टोर आरोप जाइए और टाइप कीजिए एन ई डब्ल्यू जेड एच डबल ओ के डाउनलोड कीजिए और इंजॉय कीजिए न्यूज हुक न्यूज हुक के साथ खबरें पढ़ते रहिए और इंजॉय करते रहिए न्यूज हुक अ ट्रेजर ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन प्रतिमा की पहचान प्रज्ञा की मुस्कान सबलांगो का साथी ये है रेडियो उड़ान रेडियो उड़ान के प्रोग्राम्स की जानकारी के लिए शोज में पार्टिसिपेट करने के लिए किसी भी शो को फीडबैक देने के लिए आर कई रिक्वेस्ट करने के लिए आजे बनने के लिए और अपने फेवरेट आर की प्रोफाइल्स पढ़ने के लिए लॉग ऑन करें डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट रेडियो उड़ान डॉट कॉम स्काइप आई डी रेडियो उड़ान ई मेल मेल एट रेडियो उड़ान डॉट कॉम रेडियो उड़ान अ फ्लाइट ऑफ लाइफ Welcome back, friends. We have come to the last segment of post mortem in life. It begins with Bala Nagi and Ramdev and Ray on a flight of life. And today we are talking about hydrocarbon exploration, the controversial issue. We have seen how the hydrocarbon is extracted from the ground. 
but let's know the key facts. The process requires for 50 methane wells, methane tanks. To build 50 methane ta tanks, you need 400 tanks of water, 400 tanker lorries. For sand, you need more than 800 lorries. And the process, if you feel it is shocking, hold your heart. In Panjavur, more than 2,000 methane tanks have been proposed to be built. Imagine, you need to use sand and water which can be used to build one lakh houses for the people and we are going to use it to extract the gas for one time remember not for every time one time the water that is being used would facilitate 40 lakh people to have 100 liters of water every day for their use for 2,000 methane tanks. The water that is being used for 2,000 methane tanks can be distributed to more than 50 lakhs people with 5 bowls per day. The sand that we use alone would be helpful to build 80,000 houses. What are the consequences? After the process is over within 10, 20, 30 years. The land would be barren. Nothing will be produced. The land is useless. It makes the earth's layer fragile. That would make this region prone to earthquakes. It will also boost contamination on waters. Because when methane is extracted, the water is reached how we are going to manage the waste water for that you need to build the tanks big tanks and it has to be used with cemented con cemented walls and tarpaulins but no country in the world have followed it and no country in the world can guarantee that such safety measures would ensure effective methane waste management if there is an error the catastrophe would be gravest because water contamination would cause liver issues, lungs issues, cancer, even death. That's what the problem, that's what the serious crisis of humanity would be if the exploration is carried out on the agricultural land. It, not, it will not only destroy this, that specific area but its contamination would destroy the areas in and around the entire district the, have you seen rivers got fired or ponds got fired if the water is contaminated with methane that would happen rivers and water would be on fire your taps at your home would be on fire the waters that are oozing out of the tap whenever you burn the water will fire you cannot use water to extinct the fire anymore that's the real hard dark consequences behind this exploration in the name of development we cannot sacrifice our future generation what can we do as per the data every day in 200 municipalities across the country, more than 1 lakh waste are produced. From 1 ton of waste, we can produce 40 kilograms of methane. From 1 lakh ton, we can surely produce 40 lakh tons of methane. With the effective waste management, we can produce yearly 1.5 billion kilograms of methane which is 0.5 billion higher than the proposed methane exploration in Tanjavu. 
these are the effective measures at which we need to look for in order to reduce the presence of methane in the atmosphere which would cause global warming, climate change and ultimately make all of us suffer. Methane exploration by digging the ground is not at all an effective solution because it has been banned in many countries after knowing its consequences. The water would be contaminated, land would be degraded and biodiversity will no longer have a livelihood. With that note, it's time for me to leave and to pay away for Deep Data Shell. And I'll meet you all Sunday on your most informative show world this week. Till then, take care of yourself if possible, take care of others. This is Balan Agendam signing off. Buenas noches. Good night. Welcome.